Hey, what's up? Dave here. I uh, just wanted to share this uh, Ken Ichi Sonoda Artworks 1983 through 1997 with you guys. Um, it's a great book. I highly recommend it. Although some of the uh, illustrations are some are in some of his other books, um, there is quite a few that are not. So anyway, we start off with Bubblegum Crisis and, you know, some pictures of uh, Pris and, and the gang kind of on the motorcycles and, and whatnot. Um, some photos in the mech. Um, great looking sketch, uh, watercolor combination illustrations as well. And that's a great picture of the motorcycle. It's an awesome motorcycle. Just love this style of artwork and, and how uh, detailed you know the anime was uh, in the 80s so you got Pris here singing um, beautiful artwork you know you've got you've got the real like produced um, flat colored stuff and like this right here and then uh, contrasting the watercolor and sketch uh, looking stuff which I think is really beautiful I think they're both beautiful by the way so picture of the group and uh, love this I don't know if this was a cover to something maybe one of the videos or something or DVDs I should say um, more great photos pretty awesome This one on the left here, this is this is great. I love just, you know, how the characters are different sizes and whatnot, you know, in the illustration. I don't know, these small characters, I don't know if those are called chibi, um, or something like that, right? Some headshots here. These pages are kind of a little hard to grab. So here we have uh, Gal Force starting here. I always love the, the the look of Gal Force and and you know their helmets with the long antenna just kind of sticking up and out. That was a pretty cool looking design. They were a little a, a little less slick, I would say as well. Oh, I love this photo on the bottom. Have this album. You know, they had a lot of like kind of military look to them. They didn't have as much uh, individuality, I guess, um, except for their hair, probably. I love this. I love this type of artwork, this, you know, kind of where it looks like it's conceptual. Great artwork, probably covers of some of the DVDs or, you know, some of the other promotional material. Character models. Heavy duty artillery, I love just the sleek style of the animation with like the heavy artillery. It's kind of contrasting the girls. They just put so much uh, so much work and style into the, the character designs. I mean, you just don't see that anymore. You know, they all have like different hairdos and you know, their hairs are, their hair is different colors and, you know, they're different sizes. Some of them are taller than the others. Some of them are short and, you know, in a lot of anime today, it's just like super, super, you know, minimal. I mean, which is cool too, but, um, you know, when I see something that looks like, uh, looks like 80s, uh, for example, if you've ever seen the red line anime, um, you know, all 
all of a sudden I'm just like, wow, this is cool, you know? So some more Gal Force and some more, you know, painted, painted stuff. That's really cool. Just kind of slice of life um, shots of the girls. So I think this is just going to be, you know, kind of random stuff here. You know, some of it may have been produced, maybe some of it wasn't. This is pretty cool. He definitely likes like motorcycles and stuff. Um, This is really cool. All characters, you know, just kind of a montage of, of all the characters from the different uh, anime. I would love to have that in a poster. So writing being here, which is an anime I, I've never, I've never seen, but uh, looks like uh, a little bit like Gunsmith Cats. So maybe it's like a precursor to Gunsmith Cats um, or vice versa. And this Atuk. Uh, uh, otaku no video I'm not sure if this is another anime I've, I've never seen it if it was um, you guys could probably tell me something about it and that's about it you know you get like a glossary at the end that shows all the um, illustrations in in black and white and uh, probably a lot of commentary and um, you know Japanese there but uh, unfortunately I can't read that so but uh, the entire book is a feast for eyes anyway so you know you don't really need to 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 read Japanese to enjoy this book so I like to just kind of like flip the cover off and show you what's underneath the cover sometimes you know sometimes there's like really cool illustrations you know, sometimes you really get, even, you know, on some books, you'll get like a poster on the inside. But anyway, that's about it. Thanks so much.